Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matty, my mascot. In this lesson we're gonna continue studying the remainder. But first, here is another way to write division problems. This problem is 42 divided by 7, okay? 42 divided by 7 equals 6. And I write the 6 here on top, on top of the line. And I try to write the 6 on top of the 2 because it is in the 1's place. There's going to be 1's and 10's, like that. Another one. What problem is that? 81 divided by 9. The answer is simply 9 and it goes here. Now, this way of writing the division comes kind of handy when we have remainders. Here I have 25 divided by 4. And like we studied, you need to think how many times does 4 go into 25? 6 times, yes. And I write the 6 here. That's my answer. 6 times. But then I multiply 6 times 4. 6 times 4 equals 24. And I write 24 here because now I'm going to subtract to find the remainder. Remember, the remainder was the difference between 24 and 25. But you can, of course, subtract to find the difference. So 25 minus 24 equals 1. So the answer is 6 remainder 1. Let's try some more. 38 divided by 7. And think, how many times does 7 go into 38? How many 7s are in 38? Now you need to know your multiplication tables, right? 4 times 7, 28. 5 times 7, 35. Oh, that's pretty close. 5 times 7, so 5 here. And then 5 times 7 was 35, like I said. And that goes here, and we subtract now to find the remainder, remainder 3. Let's also check these two divisions. How do we check a division with a remainder? Now, if it didn't have any remainder, you would multiply to check it, right? For example, my first problem here, over here, to check it, I would go 6 times 7 equals 42. But now with this one, I go 6 times 4, and then I add the remainder, okay? The check is 6 times 4 plus 1. So 24 plus 1 equals 25, and that is my original number that I am dividing. How about here? How would you check it? First, multiply, then add. Multiply 5 times 7 and add the remainder. So we get 35 plus 3, 38. And that is the number we are dividing, the dividend. Let's go on. Two more problems. Try this on your own, okay? Stop the video. Matthew, you want to try? Come on, come on. 71 divided by 9. Okay. So how many times does 9 go into 71? Hmm, don't remember your tables too well? Yeah, 7 times 9. What do you think? Did he get it right? Let's check. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 8, 71. Yes, it checks. Okay, another one. 62 divided by 8. How many times does 8 go into 62? Yeah. Good job, Matthew. He got it right this time, too. I hope you did, too. If you put 47 pencils into cases, 6 pencils in each case, how many cases do you need? How many cases are full? Okay, it kind of sounds like that we're going to have one case that's not going to be full. And 47 pencils into cases. It's a division problem, right? So let's divide using this method here. 47 and 6. 47 divided by 6. So how many 6s are in 47? 6 times 8 is 48. Well, that's too much. So 6 times 7 should work. 7 times 6, 42. Subtract, remainder 5. All right. So we've done the division, so now we need to answer the question. How many cases do you need? Is one of the numbers here the answer? You need to think carefully now. 
What does it mean when 47 divided by 6? We get 7 and 5 left over. This remainder 5 means 5 pencils, okay? We have 47 pencils and we put 6 pencils in each case and there will be 5 pencils left over. Okay? This here would give us the number of cases that are full. And then these 5 pencils would need to go into a case 2, right? And so instead of saying that we need 7 cases, we actually need one more case. We need 8 cases. And so how many cases are full? That answer is this number. Seven cases are full. And then lastly, we have some flowers to arrange. Can you arrange 54 flowers into even rows of five, of six, of seven, of eight? Okay, even rows. And this really is a multiplication table question, you know, because is 54 in any of these tables? Is 54 in the table of 5? No, it isn't. So my answer is no. I could not arrange 54 flowers into even rows of 5. Now, is 54 in the table of 6? Yes, it is. 6 times 9 is 54. And so I could. If I arrange 54 flowers, into even rows of 6, then I get 9 rows, exactly 9 rows, because 9 times 6 is 54. Now how about 7? Even rows of 7? No, because 54 is not in the table of 7. Even rows of 8? Neither. But let me now write the divisions. 54 divided by 5. It is not an even division. 5 goes to 54 10 times. 10 times 5 is 50, so the remainder is 4. What does it mean as far as arranging flowers? I would have rows of 5, 10 rows, right? And then in the last row, only 4 flowers. These are the left over the remainder flowers. And then 54 divided by 6. Okay, I already told you, it was 9. The remainder is 0. And so now, rows of 6, I get 9 rows. And then, 54 divided by 7, 7 goes to 54 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49, so the remainder is 5. What does it mean now? What does this 5 mean? It's your leftover flowers, right? In other words, you get 7 rows, and then you have 5 flowers left over. Maybe you want to make a row with them, or maybe not. But those are your remainder leftover flowers. And then lastly, 54 divided by 8. 8 goes to 54 6 times. 6 times 8, 48. So the remainder is 6. And now do you understand what does this 8 mean? What does this 6 mean? What does this 6 mean? We were asked about even rows of 8. Okay? It means 8 flowers in each row. This, this 6 means six rows. Six rows of eight flowers each. And these are the leftover flowers. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.